Number 11. For each of the following groups, indicate whether electrons are more likely to be lost or gained in compound formation and give the number of such electrons typically involved. A, group 1. Well, if you're in group 1, you have one valence electron, so you're going to lose one electron. B, group 2. You're going to lose two electrons because you're in group two. You only have two valence electrons. It's easier to lose two than to gain eight to satisfy your octet. C, group 13. All right, there are three valence electrons in that uh, in elements in that group. And so it's going to be easier to lose those three. Yeah, those are going to be lost. Three are going to be lost. D, group 16. Well, now we're in main group six. So we have six valence electrons. It's actually easier to gain two electrons to satisfy your octet rule as opposed to losing six. And then E, group 17. All right, we're very close to satisfying our octet. We only need to gain one. We're going to gain one. Group 18, however, for F, group 18 is going to do neither. It is going to not lose electrons and it's not going to gain electrons because it's already uh, obtained a full octet. It's already got a full uh, stable electron configuration. And yes, these are the noble gases over there in group 18.